Hello everybody, and welcome back to another game. This time, it also does not look like a horror game, but I'm your host, Draven, of Time to Play. Today, we are going to play Dredge. Never played this before, and I looked, and it said it's a horror game, but... It doesn't look like one, so I don't know how this is going to go, but let the games begin. Dredging. Art style looks funny. Angl Angler Wanted. Oh no, did I die? <laughs> sure does look like it. <laughs> ah yes, very helpful. The morning light fills your eyes. You try to sit upright. You're laying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to the Great Morrow. I must say, quite a dramatic first impression. I see you already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah, well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog grows in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Ooh, fish. How is this scary? It just looks normal. Yeah, this is just fishing. How... How is this scary? Some fish, y'all. Shallow. You don't have the right equipment for the spot. Darn it. What about you? Are you all shallow? No. Okay. Shoot. Oh 
Oh, well, that's annoying. Time only advances when moving or f fishing or taking other specific actions. Shallow. I'll get to that in a moment. I want to know what this is. Ooh, those look like sharks. Oceanic. Oh, there's a town right across the way. These were the ones I can't get. Exposure to fog and other things increase your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. You step onto the dock of Greater Maru. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah. I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel yours to own. I understand you may not have necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan, but I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of Interest will go towards improving the town. What is that beacon of blood? So to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and in turn, keeping the portion fit. Fed and satisfied, understand. Selling fish helps the town and pay off my that got it off you go then sell those fish while they're still fresh oh jeez my headphones are getting a little uncomfortable now you enter a loge a squad check on <laughs> oh man. Fringe of the marketplace. The familiar set, smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What? 
happened to the other one? He... He took a certain type of person to last out there here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyways, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more too. Other towns on other islands may pay you different. But while you've still got a debt outstanding here, I suggest you work on paying it off first. So, let's see what you got. A hundred and forty-seven dollars and fifty-seven cents if I sell all fish. Done. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, 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 baby. Yeah. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here, I found this down by the docks. Not, I'm sure someone like you can make something out of it. Why don't you take it? Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business for doing favors around here. Payment is up front and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up, mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. So plan ahead. Ah. Uh, Oh, that would have been good. Hmm. I think I'm gonna get this. Uh, oh. Shoot. I got 50 bucks. If I could make this into like one of these, I can have these over here and then put that over there. Maybe there's something or other. Honestly, anything would be good. Uh... Oh! Ship loan payment. <laughs> hmm? Oceanic, I need that. 
That would be good. Woof! Hmm. How can I add? Oh, I see. Oh, that would be amazing. Abyssal. What? Huh. It serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks. Its dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. Well, these are shallow. And I need you. Jeez, you guys are big. Maybe it's more terrifying than I, I don't know. spend a bit of the night time also fishing. Hmm. What's that? Oh, it's fine.
Oh. I see what it means by being terrifying at night. A hunched woman approaches you from this. Steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with certain invisible apprehension. Why are you here? I come to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the lighthouse. I've had a special order come through for my customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal price. Tell me about this order. They asked for one golf flounder and one gray eel. Just bring them in when you have them. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow waters in order to catch those. Shipwright should be to sort that for you. I already have that. Do you got any fish that I order? I not right now. Oh my, you look exhausted. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? As I always say, taking re frequent breaks is an important part of being productive. I'm getting to it. Ooh. Okay, so he needs an eel. I see eels over here. And some flounders. Okay, so now I see why this is kind of a horror game now. One flounder, one eel. I don't care about this. It's non sanction It's non-lore. It's stupid. Okay, and there's like... Different versions of it? During day and night, only during day. Okay. Well, it looks like the Maros is...
Yeah, there's nothing over here. I got that. Hmm. All right, and sell everything. The mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts, Great Tomorrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent for the ship right to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's service. He might have something to talk about. Talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of heart materials for these any for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. How do I get those? There's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and and the lag, I'm sure you'll find a way to get them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Okay. I can't do anything now. Like I said, I can't do anything now. I can't even. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Morrow? Would you give this package to the dark worker? There, please. The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound by string. Is draping slightly. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Oh, it's the it's the one literally across across the across the sea. Well, I'll be going into the night and going crazy again. I swear I saw that light. Yeah, it's that light. I want to go over there. What happens if I just... Do I get more panic? What if I just sit here? Lights off. Nothing. Oh, I thought something special would happen. What's these? Oh, they're the little squids. Maybe there's not only that, but maybe I can sell.
Hmm. What? Delivery? Let's see here. There's a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. Can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh. This will do nicely. I'll pay you, I suppose. He hands you some money. 25 bucks, man, it's not good. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but... It didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by and chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. Hello. Is that? No. Uh, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me. My eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice for me today? Nope. This is a cozy game. I don't mind playing this again. I just need to figure out why. Is it because I got rid of all the fish? Man, I should have just sold that one when I had the chance. Found this bu book out back. Could be useful to you. Rods, reels, and rings added to the cabin. Arrow squid. Okay. Um, let's. Some metal scraps, cloth, and lumber. Lumber. Ah, shoot. Kinda looks like they come with their own like little mini games. Or this eels, not what I need. Hmm. Maybe I get dynamite and stuff. So otherwise, I don't know how to get that stuff. Hello.
Tom hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. Place stand hand on stone. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. Ooh. Jeez. Something slithers into your cargo hold. What is it? You look a touch troubled. The fog's starting to get to you. Completely normal around here. Nothing to worry about. It's a good night's rest. You'll be right as rain by the morning. What slithered into my cargo? No, 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 no. What? Infected? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get some rest. What the? I got the money. I don't care. What I need is this. I need these. Right. That's going to be expensive.
Oh. Those gotta be high prices. Oh, so sell so these. I don't know what happened. My fish got infected. <laughs> well, let's sell these. What is it today? You hand the grotesque fish to the fisherman. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling deep stuttering breath. Ah, uh, now this is the sort of specimen to live up my, to liven up my day. Mm, I wonder. He runs his finger firmly along the length of the fish as though feeling for something he pushes from one side of its stomach. In a small sharp can small shape can be seen against the blood yes. he slices the fish open from his stomach he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it onto the counter it's dunkly pow patterned handkerchief well I've seen some Seen that before in my days. I'll give you this thing and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen. So, I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I did! <laughs> I'll pay you well if you find any more. I did! Thank you for the cash! A man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is all mostly in shadow. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear, I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. No, I think I'm going to end it here. Thank you all so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see all of you in the next one. Goodbye.